Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to show you the Ansel FX3000 kit, diagnose and reset an airbag light on this here BMW 3 Series. Um, the tool is available by clicking the link directly below this video. If you want to make sure you get a genuine Ansel product, um, make sure you use that link in the description because unfortunately fakes and clones do exist. Um, and I'd hate for you to get your hands on one of these horrible clone kits, but this is the genuine product and you'll get a genuine product if you use the link in the description. So we have the tool plugged into the diagnostic port and I'm going to click on to diagnose. We're going to click on to scan and we're going to select our manufacturer, which is BMW. Click on to non X3, unless of course you have an X3. And it just takes 15 20 seconds or so to actually connect to the vehicle, and then we can find out why this airbag light is on screen here. This is an example. Um, in all honesty, I actually know why the airbag light is on screen. Um, but I'm just sh going through the process and showing you exactly how it would be done in the real world. So we'll click on to manual select and then we need to find the airbag system. There it is, airbag. So we'll go to read fault code and it's giving us three faults here. Now it's quite small, I'm not sure if you can see it, but we've got a fault code there with a description. The second fault code is a different fault code, a different description. The third fault code is a different fault code and a different description. So if you weren't exactly sure what these descriptions meant or how to sort of deal with them, um, I'd say put these fault codes into a Google search engine and guarantee if you're having these fault codes, somebody else will have had them as well. So I would say definitely put them into a search engine and Google will give you the answer as to what you need to do um, when uh, looking to reset the warning light. You may need to replace an airbag component, you know, something like a sensor or an airbag. Um, it may just need a simple reset because you may have just moved the seats too abruptly and it's triggered an airbag light. Something like that is probably just an intermittent fault. Uh, in our case, we found a loose connection underneath the driver's seat. So we've put that back together and it's just a case for us to just click into clear fault code. When I do this, when I click uh, this button here, just keep an eye on the the airbag light and the and the message there. There we go. It's reset them, and we've got succeeded to clear DTCs, which is diagnostic trouble codes, on the screen of the tool. So that's a, it's the Ansel FX3000 kit. And remember, if you are interested, I'll put the link in the description below this video. Uh, but make sure you do follow the link because that will take you to the uh, the genuine products as well. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.